Hey hey hey, my name is Paul Shinks and welcome to Psychopath's Mandatory Happiness. Once again, we will continue. Nadashiko's side of story. Which more or less covers the same story. But have has some additions of hers, I guess. Okay. After treating the enforcer's wounds, we discuss our next move. Treating. Fukakaida. Tatakomori Setoga. Shikota is only not the inaina to a tote ariana kutta. Kareda was sent I hunt to a minasarena it the kutta de sione. Sonobai. What a statini de kirkoto are in the sky. Zanen Nagara. Nanimonai. Whatever a koanga torishimari taisho ni de kirinoa. シビラが命じた相手だけだ。相対障害の存在に手出しすれば、我々の方が処罰の対象となるだろう。Let's do ボードに関わっている立てこもり犯は皆火炎瓶の作成法をどこで学んだんでしょうか確かにおかしいあれは化学反応式だ薬品の配合知識がないと作成は難しいその程度の情報なら昔はネットからニュースできたそうだけど今
<sighs> yes, we already know we will be splitting. It was decided earlier, woman. He said we'll be splitting, so why do you repeat this? Another one. Yes, it's his call. He's the leading person of the freaking entire team, damn it. You know what? No matter what humor I win, Nadashiko always pisses me off. I mean, come on. Ginoza, it's your call. Of course it's your call. You are there for like five days. It's not your call, if anyone's. God damn it. Mm. I mean, he only... Sight, okay. I I guess, I mean, he definitely started of Nadeshiko as well, which is not really surprising. Uh, I'm surprised for that he's able to handle it so well compared to this someone. You okay. ごめんね。探してはみたけど、対人間用のノンリーサルブキはそれだけしかなかったわ。ちょっと。だからって一人にスタングレネード一発と警棒だけってありえないっしょ。相手火炎瓶とか持ってるんですけど。Or maybe it's different this time, but I thought we literally had one for entire team. Whoops. Nice, they were I don't want to go. Ma, some of the most you don't bother on the so I got to I know we And no, God damn it. Ugh. Maybe. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yes? いったって何すんだよ国地。ふざけてないで。侵入経路の説明が始まるわよ。我々は犯人捜査と人質保護の二班に分かれる。前者は俺が指揮し。Pay attention to the game, not to the what's happening here. Oh, okay. Okay.先入犯と呼ぶことにする。先ほど侵入を試みた裏口は警戒が強まっているため使えない。考えられる方法は二つ。屋上から潜入するか、正面から突入するかだ。俺たち潜入犯は東高射外の非常階段を登り。屋上から校舎内へエントリーする。作戦目的は犯人確保。すなわちこの暴動の真の中心人物を発見し、取り押さえることだ。一方の常森率いる突入犯は西校舎入り口のバリケードを破壊し、そこから突入する。作戦目的
むしろ相手の反応を引き出したいつっついて出方を見るってわけか乱暴な話だがやるしかないわなカイナ大前提として立てこもり班も全員被害者であり保護の対象となるこのことは肝に銘じて行動しろ了解クガたち君はどちらの班に加わるつもりだあああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああ The other one、uh, compared to the one I chose as Tsurugi, which I don't remember. <laughs> okay, I.、Uh, I don't think I went with the Tsunemori previously. Yeah, w e l l But then again, I don't think Nadeshiko would be too good in here with Akane, to be honest. Like, she just doesn't seem like someone who can. Just doesn't seem like someone who can go against someone, like, hand to hand. So basically, she can't really be a charger, if anything. For something like. How to say? Assassination. Literally, for something that requires silence, I guess she would work fine. But. Yeah, let's go with Ginoza. Also. What she's saying. Like, can I do it like this? Because I don't want to hear you fuck. Like this, I don't want to listen. I don't want to listen to her, okay?、Um, or more like, I want to literally comment about the first thing. I wish to join the demonstrators, the charts will create the diversion, blah blah blah.、Uh, so that team should be composed members with adept fighting skills. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Literally, actually,、uh, saying that she's not good for it, okay? She's not good for it. For on the other hand, you could take it a little differently. Like, they are our. No, you can't really take it differently. Yes, she's getting to the point that she's not good at fighting. Thank you, Nadeshiko. For once, you said something nice. Correct. Whatever. Something that I, can, I can't really complain about when it comes to you.、Oh. Sure. じゃあ、俺は突入班に行かせてもらおうか。人質のことは任せな。たっぷり暴れて、奴らを引きつけるから、その間にサクッと犯人を確保してくれ。いや。For now, I think that I did not go with this team previously as well. とはいえ、潜入班の戦力は必要だ。俺が行こう。いいな、ギロ。お前の牙が鋭いことは知っている。言われずとも、こちらのメンバーにするつもりだった。いや、いつか、just do whatever you want, man <笑>。俺は言い出しっぺでもあることだし、突入班に行こう。よろしく頼むぞ、お嬢ちゃん。はい。正岡さんが来てくださるなら、百人力ですよ。あとは。はいはい俺っち派手に暴れる方が得意だし突入班でお願いしますなら私は潜入班ね問題ありませんか監視官悪くない配置だよしこれで行くぞ各員装備を点検し身につけろドミネーターも忘れるな使えるかどうかは分からんがなあみん Technically, if you can't shoot it, it can still become like a blunt weapon. Just hit them with it! 
Sure, it requires to get closer, but... Hey. Our incursion began from the emergency stairs outside, East Campus. We climbed to the rooftop. And from there, moved to the third floor. There were no students present. I, I wish I could look onto the plants right now if the floor, the staircase was leading to the, uh, to the rooftop. But. The charges began tearing down the barricade at West Campus. The banging, then crashing of objects could be heard all the way from here. Wait, or maybe I went with the chargers? I don't remember. God damn. <laughs> I remember this staircase floor, or more like this floor, remaining vigilant. We cautiously searched the third floor, however there were no signs of anyone here. Enforcer Kogami went down the stairs and signed out that the coast was clear. With a notice, Inspector Ginoza moved forward and the rest of us followed. With Enforcer Kogami leading Inspector Ginoza in between Enforcer Kunizuka and me, we descended to the next floor, making sure not to make any noise. So literally you are going as the last one. You are the first one to give uh, orders, kind of, but you are the last one to to go. That I don't like, but whatever. Once we reached the second floor, we could hear voices. They echoed seeming to come from the first floor below us. We ignored it, not st straying from our main task. Instead, we headed for central campus via corridor on the second floor. The only thing present was a closed door at the end. Ooh. Ooh, so this is different. With Tsurugi, we had the choice. Okay, let's check out this floor. Okay, let's go below. Okay, let's go to the... Yeah, there were three choices. We exchange a contact to confirm our next move. Did you say I? You said I. You said I, but it definitely means the entire team, because for some reason it's like this in this game. You know... The story is great. Trugi, I liked. Nadeshiko is... Uh, okay -ish. I mean, I don't like her... Personality-wise, but she's a good character. Uh... This is one thing that I don't like, that those two are literally given the choices that will bring the outcome of the entire team, not just themselves, entire team, and that's ridiculous, like, it's the, they are giving orders to the others. Even literally with Tsurugi, you are an enforcer and you are literally making choices that the inspectors would follow anyway, even if you, even if you are barely in the team. like. I don't feel like this should be like that, but whatever, it's a good game. Uh, I don't remember what was said there. Second floor. I mean, she already said we ignored it. Okay, I mean, if you ignored it, then what would she do? I feel like, yeah, I feel like she's someone who would not stray, so, like with Tsurugi. Tsurugi is literally a person that if he hears a problem, he reacts to it, even if it's not, like, thought through. Kinda like me. Uh, with her, I feel like even if he, if there is something, like, like, let's say, side quest, she would not go to it, she would go straight to the to the main case she's after. Let's go with this option then. It was apparent that the captors set up their base at the central campus. There was high chance that the real mastermind was there. As if Enforce Kami knew what I was thinking, he opened his eyes a little wider, then smiled and gripped his button. <laughs> this is not a good sign. Oh, he will go berserk if he will have a chance. Inspector Ginoza gave us the go ahead and headed for Central Campus. We would find out if this was the right choice soon enough. 
We were nearly at the end of the corridor, too far, we had not been attacked by the captors, and there did not seem to be any hiding nearby. <laughs> we reached the end and listened for any sounds on the other side of the door. Officer Koyami opened it ajar and peered through. I mean, I wouldn't say Kogami would hesitate in any action, but okay. He's not the one to hesitate as well. Right when we entered the central campus, Inspector Ginosa suddenly stopped us. Again, she's like one of not many people that constantly says this line. Roger! Heading in the shadows, we turned on our wrist com communications. Everyone switched to silent mode. Four types of drugs were found on the students. All of them were readily available mental supplements on the market. They improved their hue and weren't harmful in any way. Unless. It dramatically improved the hue, bringing a clear color to even latent criminals. Of course there are. Those are drugs. Supplements. Even if they are okay in small natural doses. Of course, if you overdo it, they will have some effect. I hope I'm correct about this. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! I was correct. The cocktail affected the prefrontal cortex and inhibited the ability to detect stress. The effects spread across all areas, decreasing brain activity. Oh yeah, now that I think about it, then like your hue is literally your stress level. I mean, maybe not fully, but yeah, it's probably a big part of it. So. If you can deal with stress, you are just good to go. Neural function progressively degenerates. Perhaps stress would not be the only thing that users would lose. As if she was reading my mind. Analyst. She's the only one that calls her that. Karnomori said. Kanjinakunarunova,ストレスだけじゃないわ。痛み、恐怖、怪我や病気への警戒心、自己保存のために備わっている、そうした機能が次々と死に絶えていく。Hmm. Interesting. I mean, I'm good with pain. I don't think I'm that stressed about stuff, really. Um, fear? Some things, I guess. Injury? Yes, I am injured. Uh, need for... Sp I don't know. Whatever. The decline of stress tolerance and other cognitive abilities led to a lack of self-control. If they felt any stress, they'd snap and go berserk. Wasn't there a, like a bird or, or something, whatever, an animal that was like absolutely not stressed about anything and... Well, literally nothing. Like, they were free roaming anywhere. And they weren't going berserk. Like... What was it called? A dodo or something like this? I'm pretty sure there was something like this. Also, it was in the Madagascar cartoon. Soreto. <laughs> これは茜ちゃんのチームが調べたことなんだけどね。立てこもりはんにサプリのカクテルを教えたの。女らしいわ。Oh, 
Oh, so we are not getting to. This girl somehow figured out how to evade the law by combining supplements. She was a nurse of his first floor of Central Campus with someone else. From what Karanomori said, it appeared that this other person was also the one who planned out the riot with Ryotaro Funeoka. This person had taught the captors how to make molotovs and pipe bombs. Pipe bombs as well! Whoa! And now we discovered he was not with Funaoka, but with this girl instead. Hmm. お前の邪水は友かく放置しておいていい状況ではなさそうだな。ギノザ監視官、ここは首謀者の船岡良太郎よりもこの暴動のブレインと見られる二人を抑えるべきでは。ヒローズ。私も賛成です。ヒローズ
Sure eyes were half open, her hue was very clear like a transparent gem as blue as the skies, under those rosy eyelids I was sure her eyes sparkled. Shuri complained and seemed bothered, of course, would hear all the commotion from here, that must have been what made her value uneasy, those sounds, that's the problem. I must do something for her. Erase yourself, Alpha, that's, that's what you should do for her. I don't care. Oh my god. I saw the dead fish. I wet the drawl from the corner of her lips and slip a few spoons in my mouth. I will show her and recognize the path to happiness. It's not a path to happiness, you idiot! Kono heaven's door, say Areba. Kimi no shikiso wa zutto kuriya na mama da. Eien ni. Ne. De 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 no. After swallowing the missing, her smile turned. A most dazzling one made only by those who escaped the torture of pain. Dapped. I don't want to see more of that. That perfect smile. I wanted her to show me her heart's true color, her smile. I wanted Shuri and all of them to show me to show just how much happiness could truly be attained. Zero. From that zero. Tsunemori Han, Tadaima, Tochak Shimasta. Ozokunata. Koriori, Sen Nu Han, Tosu Nu Han, Wa Goryu Shi, Kyo Tsu Moktaki no Tame Kodo Sri. Joho Kyo Yu, Wa Mondai Nakaroga.念のため確認する。こんな騒ぎを起こしたんだから、捕まえて取っちめないとな。かがり、早まるな。処遇はドミネーターを向け、犯罪係数を確認してからでないと決められない。うん。とはいえ、重要参考人であることに間違いない。最
They have high crime coefficients, okay? Why wouldn't you do that? Lie to them! God damn it! Make them panic! The captors fell silent, looking in the air. They start whispering, but then get louder. Oh, I mean, Hell's Gate! He's dangerous! Heaven's Door? They grew louder, shouting over each other. And they said, it's just planned. Yeah, it's legal! <laughs> For they said it was legal, it seemed we weren't the only ones they were trying to convince. They had to have known what they took uh, was not an officially approved drug. Compared to the other captors, they seemed to be more intelligent. Exhibit A, the way they used the hostages, but it seemed like they might be open to negotiations. They all pointed at me and kept shouting, Put down the weapons! What should I do? I mean, you will not do anything really anyway. Uh, whatever, first, I guess she is the type to negotiate only. That's not how- what? No! You were supposed to try to negotiate! I raised my hand at Vatsrugi and Lord Mega, throwing the other inspectors, looked on as I stepped forward, but I needed to get. Oh, I don't I like her. Will it now? Will it? They all yet screw off what a bitch, keep talking and we'll kill them. However, as angry and violent they seem, they'd not do anything older than yell. They all gaps, their eyes pulsating in their sockets. In the end they dropped their weapons and stared their trembling hands. Wow, they are weak. If that's how you had thought. They could still listen to reason. They knew if they hit the hostages, there was a good chance their hues would worsen. Their eyes widened with fear. You raised the nominator again? Why? Instead of shouting their cocky cries like before, they all just stared the gun. Waiting, watching, hoping. I am where I wanted, without the station. No, you didn't. I made a signal to the enforcers pointing captors, scared boyish faces. Time to end this. I mean, what she does doesn't make sense to me. Whatever. Recognize the situation, the enforcers charge at the captors. The first to make contact with Tsurugi. He tackled a few of them to the ground. In only a few months, all the captors were suppressed. The outcome was better than I had expected, yet I might have taken too long, making them more scared than necessary. What do you want from me, Anas? Anas。<laughs> We heard it. Just ahead. <sighs> Nurse's office. Although the door was sealed shut, we could hear a loud argument going on inside. It sounded like it was between a boy and a girl. I could not make out what they were saying, however, the situation seemed very tense. The girl sounded hysterical. Time was of essence. I looked at the inspector Ginoza. He nodded and used the master key to unlock the door. And the enforcer... <laughs> all rushed in.
<laughs> Shuri had dozed off, but out of nowhere she had awakened. Startled and grabbed me. Her fingers dug into me until her tips were red. What was making her so scared? Uh, yes, maybe she realized what she's doing. And that's a bad thing. どうして君の色相はこんなにクリアだよ。何も恐れることなんてないんだ。嘘。色相が綺麗ならなんでこんなに怖いの？なんでみんな暴れて公安が来てるの？おかしいよ。間違ってるよ。君は僕が間違って
while they believe they could make themselves happy, yet always failed. Without me, they'd always be a lot of unhappy fools. Uh, I mean, if someone craves the drugs, I wouldn't say that they are happy. Who cares? Sure, he stared at me while I trembling. The pulse in my chest subsided. I couldn't. I couldn't let myself be manipulated to be angry. If mother saw this, she would definitely scold me. That would be terrible, and then I'd never be praised. I had to work harder, so she would notice my existence. でも大丈夫。もう収まったよ。君を脅かす真似はしない。本当に怖がらなくてもいいんだ。僕は君を幸せにする。実験の結果は最後まで見届けなきゃならないしね。I picked up more than the amount of pills necessary for the cocktail and held them under Shiori's mouth. I didn't ask her if she wanted it. There was no need for choices. What I need to give her was absolute happiness. You didn't. Just like Shuri did, all he might need to do was open their mouths and swallow pills to be happy. No! See, mother, I was only helping them. No, you. No, 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 no. You weren't. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Right. Just as Shuri uttered her delight, I heard the bolt on door unlock. Who it must be? I glanced at the entrance. And I saw. A girl and a boy. Or should you say, a man and a woman? Golden hair and those red eyes. I had seen his head before. Countless times, as I recognized his face, my head started to spin like it had never before. With golden hair? Oh, okay, it's not a Shiko speaking. Oh my god. It started an intense headache, then surged deep within my chest, killing my heart like a ragdoll. Tears filled my eyes. Matsukata Shiori! And what strugi voice dragged me back to the present. The boy was feeding something to the girl. She chomped it up, then bent her neck back, swallowing it all. Shiori -san! The girl who had been abducted, Shiori Matsukata, I could only watch as she fell, and the inspector Tsunori rushed to catch her. She fled in the inspector sound, screaming. <sighs> she knows! Uh, hi. What was I doing? Pledge myself all the days. No time to waste. Every moment counted. I walked to Shiori as she bit down her handkerchief. She seemed to be suffering. I mean, of course! Was she in shock to drag overdose? Should we induce vomiting? Yes! But in a few moments, all the strain in her face vanished and her body became limp. Her pupils were di dilated and the roll dripped from her mouth. I twisted her wrist, trying to get a reaction from her, but she did not respond. I remember I treated patients like that her before. They were all brain dead. And just like then, I was too late. I felt the inspector soon resides watching me. She knew. Inspector Tsunari couldn't stand. I stayed by Shuri, checking her pulse and airways, then laid her down, head down. After slowly standing up, I forced faced the person's fault. He laughed, a pure joyful laugh, not a care in the world. 
As I watched him, my headache returned and the room began spinning. Those flashbacks or deja vu or whatever they were seemed never seemed to keys, but I needed to ask him. The room filled with his innocent, childish laugh. Right. Innocent. It's a crappy name given basically to any kind of software. My vision started to blur from all the spinning. I mean, you knew the name already! I could hear the throbbing pain pound against my skull with every pulse, as if something was trying to pour it out. Yeah, that's the name, you piece of shit! Inspector Tsumi pointed at her dominator at him, at this distance she could not miss, yet Alpha still grinned like he knew. The map you drone is garbage. Yeah, shut up. Inspector Ginoza raised his dominator and did the rest of us, and so did the rest of us. We entered the boy and he continued to talk. I mean, still there's plenty of stuff around to destroy him. Blah 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 blah, whatever man. As expected, the dominator did not acknowledge Aula as a tar Alpha as a target. That's why we acknowledge him as a target. He lived in a world separate from the one that Sybil recognized. キミたち公安局刑事課一学科の Sure. An AI who was created to bring happiness to humanity. Uh, right after he said that, the kicking with my head grew stronger. He felt like my school would split into matches tighter, and I thought I'd subcate. I tried focusing on Spectre Ginozos and forced to climb his faint voices. AI? That's right. Nope. I was not that angry now. He shook his head furiously in protest. AI, bringing happiness to humanity. Such a bold aspiration. Yeah, Garbage! Who exactly was this? This... This thing! And why did this presence bother me like this? Alpha. Yeah, you don't even know who your mother is anyway, so... ゆかりだ。そうだな。ゆかりだ。ゆかりだ。ゆかりだ。ゆかりだ。ゆかりだ。ゆかりだ。ゆかりだ。ゆかりだ。ゆかりだ。ゆかりだ。ゆかりだ
わからない知らばくれるなゆかりはどこだいえ I started to see gaze in the back of him, so I said it's Suruki. His voice seemed to be far away. You got it. Who was that? Why did he sound so familiar? I don't know. 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 I mean, he doesn't know what's wrong. That's true. I know I'm doing. Ah. Whatever. A forsaken boy who had lost his parents. Well, I wonder if he had lost his memories too. Like myself. He seemed to have no one to confide in. No knowledge who he was or who the important people in his life had been. As my pulse pounded, my heart felt like it was expanding and I struggled to breathe. It was hard focus and I could barely stand, but I didn't take my eyes off him. You know, I can stand one thing as well. Configure video. Zoom out a bit. Done. It's still too close, whatever. Other than their deep red tinge, his eyes held the sorrow of someone who begged to be seen for those who he truly was. What? I don't think he reached out to him. What? Yamete! He smacked away my hand, leaving it numb, and a sharp tingle surged throughout my hand like delicacy. Was this pay? Or? Or? <laughs> I mean, but she's not around, so how can she do that anyway? Why bother? We are pushed I shot into the air, crashed the wall, and then fell to the ground. What? How did you... What? I don't get it. He was too strong. I couldn't block him. My chest, my head. No, my entire body felt broken. Timmy. A father ripped out a metal pipe from the wall and walked toward the doorway. And for the second time, Kami were blocking the entrance. Don't forget. It's better to do more stern voice wrong loudly. Ah, right. There is something I must do, but what am I doing here? The music now. Awesome. And Foster Trugi lent me his hand, helped me get back up. My cool beam was still off from the ring in my head, but we need to end this. Right here, right now! I mean, but Kunizuka is pretty good at fighting. <laughs> Why are you giving the. Again, why is she the one giving the orders? Why? Why it's not Kinoza or Tsunemori? God damn it! You'll make what? Nothing. Alpha swung his metal pipe only to be blocked by Enforcer Kogami's baton. And with that, the battle began. <laughs> and first, Masaga joined the fight, throwing a patch of us up to with his cyberized fist. But he dodged it, leaping back right before contact was made. Yeah, it's kinda. I guess a good duo against the cyborg, right? I mean, Kogami, who is a goddamn martial arts freaking freak. And then there's Masaoka, who might be. Older than the others, but he has this cyberized hand, so arm, hand, uh, fist. Yes, 
I think it was entire arm, but maybe I'm mistaken. Uh, so yeah, he's kind of like a good opponent. Because he still can block the attacks without feeling pain, kind of. If he blocks it with the arm, of course. Anyway. I first Kagari tried executing a leg sweep where Alpha would land, but this, like the skin fighter he was, Alpha blocked it with his skin. How do we know he's skin fighter? No, you are in our way. Alpha swung his metal pipe at Morse Kagari, but luckily for the Tsurugi grabbed Alpha just in time, so the attack only braced by Kagari's hair. Thank you, Taksha. What? Alpha seemed to be tiring and Professor Kogami says the opportunity to strike him with his button, but Alpha managed to block the brunt of the attack with his metal pipe. And Professor Kogami had an efficient fighting style, and his body seemed as sorry and nimble as a cyborg. From what I could tell, his attack was remarkable. Of course it was. Yeah, just because it brings him in the results doesn't mean those results are good. Alpha seemed to have gotten a second wind and he rushed forward attacking with yet more intensity. I mean, who said all of the humans are like that? Hey,よく知ってるね。鴻神か。面白いね、君。with a surging in a slow alpha hit and further Kogami's button so hard flung out of his grip, and Sword Tsurugi rushed in, continuing the battle as Kogami pulled back. How dare you say this to him? Ah, <laughs> Ideas. Nothing. 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 Literally nothing. Oh, plum pink. It dropped. So it's pink. Uh, oh my god. Let's do something stupid. This is stupid. Where is the. I don't know. This? I mean, this is what she's good at, only really nothing else. イリオ用擬態には生身では起きない反応ラグが存在した圧です。そこをつけば。その反応ラグの発生条件は複層情報によるネルバゴースト問題。それを発生させれば。スマホ。わかりやすく説明してもらえるか。Exactly。課題な情報入力が複数同時に発生すると内部情報処理に混乱が起こり、動作にラグが。I to do this? No one cares about this. How exactly? Oh my god. Yes. Finally someone who knows what to say it like. Lisotekides. It's 
even though it was 4 against 1, the enforcers were at a disadvantage. Well, no one suffered dark hit, they were all banged up, out of breath. At this rate, the battle would end soon, we would lose! Boom. After taking care of Shori, if Osorku Inzukai gave Osorku Emi a song right and then donned her mask and need plugs. That's why he has other countermeasures. Enforce Masaka grabbed the metal plate and rushed into battle. Enforce Kagari gave me two keys chance to put on his gear. Enforce Kagari also joined the fight. Now everyone is ready. Kind of. ビタビカの実。なんだこれ。頭だ。へへへ。え、え、え。ファイナル。フィニッシュ <laughs> Drop another one. Leighton Nibio no time lag will take the attack. Go. Nice. Moroina. Ever so Kami ran house kicked out from NDA crashed against the wall. The impact rippled throughout this delicate body, then another enforcer attacked. Ever so Trugi dealt the punishing blow, tackling Alpha's crippled Sabarai's body. My first Trugi shook out fast body. I hurried over to assist. You don't need to. Data showing you a cost aimless. Kono Jota, you can show Surinua. Kino no reset to Shika Ho Ho Arimase. Sono by Yatu no Kyoku Adonar. Show me Suruaka de Varimase. Tada, you mean that she got the Kiruka Doka. Quarrelna Kikita Yotonga Runda. Poka Quarrelna. Yes, he will. A flurry of numbers flashed across his left eye. He sputtered a mix of noises and words, trying to convey emotions, but emotions were unintelligible to me. Just like that, he was gone. That I was sure of. I reached out to him without thinking. The limb shell of his civilized body collapsed. Collapsed? Collapsed. His eyes were still open, but all signs of life were sucked out of the body. Life? What life? It's an AI. Gone. He was completely gone. Yeah, I wasn't saying the same thing in... In one game. Where... Well, there was Ai-chan, right? She wasn't an AI. She was a cute girl. But this guy is a bastard. He's only an AI. The reminder of the case took very little time to wrap up. In the end, all the captors were safely secured and all the hostages were rescued without any issues. The leader, Yotaro Funoka, who had most of the captors and hostages with him, proved to be nothing more than a kid. Without much of a struggle, he was apprehended. Although the captors were still armed with molotovs and pine bombs, we understood how they operated, so we were able to defuse the situation accordingly. And just like that, the case was... A bit resolved. But not really. Uh... All the students, hostages and captors were transported to the National Hospital. There, they received mental care assistance and huge checks. Unfortunately, the main criminal Alpha evaded us, and the other perpetrator Shiori Matsukata was apprehended, or rather she 
had no means to escape. Yes, I did. So, mental サプリやストレス あらゆる所見がいわゆるユーストレス欠乏症脳梗塞の症状と合致するのよ。それってまだはっきりと認められた症例ではありませんよね。くだらん。薬物により脳機能が損傷したに過ぎないだろう。エスペグリンナゾウ
as was his anger towards us, but still, there was no denying that he was an AI. After all, Sybil judged him as an inhuman entity, right? But perhaps maybe there was another reason why he was deemed so. No matter how much I thought, I could not think of why. It irritated me like an itch that was a fingertip too far away from my reach. Ah, who, who exactly was it? それにしても彼女 then she turned even worse. Good job, Alpha. かわいそうな女の子を幸せにするためにってか。ふざけやがって。Turning point. 幸い。迅速な対処ができたおかげで、松方しおりと同様の症状を発症したものは報告されていない。人質となった者たちも色相は既に改善へ向けて推移しているとのことだ。犠牲は最小限で済んだということですね。あの、しおりさんはユーストレス欠